Time Sports. Hawaii, a tropical getaway, a land of beautiful beaches, a cultural oasis. But thriving beneath this utopia is a breeding ground for some of the toughest fighters in mixed martial arts. Tonight, paradise is lost and becomes a battlefield for elite extreme combat. This tourist mecca is simply paradise on earth. Gorgeous scenery, breathtaking sights. This fantasy backdrop is a setting for a mixed martial arts explosion. We're here in Utopia, Honolulu, Hawaii, with beautiful sights at every turn as Elite XC proudly presents Uprising. Aloha, everyone, and away we go. I'm Mauro Ranello coming to you from Honolulu, Hawaii. This 50th state in the Union may have been the last to join the USA, but when it comes to mixed martial arts, Hawaii's fighting history rivals anywhere on Earth. Female fireworks are coming up here at Elite XC Uprising. It's going to be Gina Carano versus Tanya Evinger. Evinger may be relatively new to mixed martial arts, but what she lacks in experience, she more than makes up for with pure guts. This world-class wrestling phenom has added boxing to her MMA skill set, and tonight she plans to stand tall and deliver a knockout message to MMA's resident knockout, Gina Carano. Tanya Evinger, Odessa, Missouri. It's like natural to me, you know, I, I grew up fighting and wrestling around with my brothers and my older sister, it was always three on one, so, you know, I was used to it, used to all that rough house. And if I lose to a girl, I think I'm just going to sit on the mat and cry, because, I mean, I beat guys all the time, I can't lose to a girl. My fighting style right now, I'm just really unorthodox. I hit hard, I have heavy hands, my wrestling's great, I, I can fall back on it any time. Gina's relying on me standing up. I'm down to bang, but uh, I've never been rocked by a girl yet. This fight's gonna be great for me. I wanna win, I wanna beat her, I wanna knock her out, you know, I want whatever I can get. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the cage of Elite XC, please welcome Tanya Evinger. Well, to say Tanya Evinger was a tomboy growing up in Missouri would be a vast understatement when she wasn't beating up her brothers on the farm. This young lady was beating the boys on the wrestling mat in school. In fact, she was so good at it that her high school refused to let her compete during her senior year. Now, Gina Carano's ground game has yet to be seriously tested. Bill, is this the lady to do it? All right, you just said it. Evinger's got it all, and when it comes to wrestling, if anybody in this division can take Carano to the ground, it's her. But, or well, a statement that she wants to stay in a trade with Toronto be a means to an end? My answer to that is yes, because I believe that Tanya standing with June, Gina is a suicide mission. Avengers opponent Gina Carano has enjoyed a meteoric rise in mixed martial arts since her debut just over one year ago. She's graced the pages of myriad magazines and has been the object of a media firestorm. While her personal charisma has led to plenty of publicity, it's her ferocious striking skills and determination inside the cage that have proven to be an unbeatable combination. Gina Carano. Las Vegas, Nevada. 
when I was fighting back with, you know, those boys in, you know, high school and junior high, there was no referee around to blow the whistle, so you gotta learn how to just fight. I, I love to fight because it's real, it's honest, and I know who the opponent is, and I think that in life, I can never tell who's the good or bad guy. At least in the ring, I know, okay, that's my opponent, that's a bad guy, that's what I gotta get. For the fans, I'd like to see them see me and her just burying our heart out there with no excuses and, and going for it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gina Carano! In attendance tonight, her father, Glenn Carano, a backup quarterback with the Dallas Cowboys from 1977 to 83, was part of the Cowboys Super Bowl 12 winning team in 1977 here in Hawaii to cheer on his daughter. Gina Carano, considered female MMA's poster girl, and while she's grateful for all the attention, it is her fighting ability that she's most concerned with, and on that note, she recently joined the all-star camp of Extreme Couture in Las Vegas. And during our interview with Gina, she stated that she's currently on a 50-50 training split between striking and grappling. Quadros, could working with the likes of Code Tour be the X factor in elevating her game to the next level? Oh, I would say definitely. Working in a gym environment like Extreme Code Tour will definitely help her MMA game, but I feel because she's so good at standing, she should concentrate 100% of her energies on the ground. Ditto. Let's go to the tail of the tape for this female matchup. At a contracted weight of 140 pounds, Gina Carano, 25, a year younger than Tanya Evinger, an inch taller than her opponent. Gina Carano weighed in at 141, Evinger 139 and a half. And you take a look at their styles, the story surrounding this fight, Gina Carano at the weigh-in, struggling to make weight, was dehydrated, almost collapsed to the weigh-in, and it's gonna be interesting to see how much she's been able to recover here 24 hours later against a stiff test in Tanya Ebinger. You know, we talk about that training split with, with somebody as first in the stand-up game as Gina Carano. These fighters really don't like to, they really don't like to get out of their comfort zone, do they? No, they don't, and let's see if they stick the in their comfort zone. At this time, Elite XE presents a women's MMA special attraction made possible by Rockstar Energy Drink, Fairtex, and one more round. At this time, we introduce to you our referee in charge of this bout. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Mario Yamasaki. All right, fans. Here we go, three three-minute rounds scheduled. Introducing to you first, on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, standing five feet seven, she weighed in at 139 and one half pounds. Raised in the time-honored disciplines of wrestling and boxing, her record stands at five wins, one defeat, with four knockouts and one submission to her credit. Hailing from Lee's Summit in Missouri, please welcome Tanya Avenger. And her opponent across the cage on my right. Fighting out of the red corner, standing five feet eight inches, she weighed in at 141 pounds. With a background of Muay Thai and boxing, she is undefeated in her campaign with a record of four wins, no losses, two wins coming by way of knockout. Representing Extreme Couture, please welcome the sensational young star of women's MMA from Las Vegas, Nevada, introducing Gina Carano. Once again, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki, now to give instructions. All right, ladies, I already gave the instruction in the locker room. I want you guys to do a clean fight, follow my orders at all time. You have any questions? All right, touch gloves. Good luck. We should reiterate again, three three-minute rounds in the distaff division, the undefeated Gina Conviction Carano taking on Tanya Evinger. Carano's made history for the female mixed martial arts game. Will Tanya Evinger spoil you go. You ready? Gina Carano's ready? party Let's here go. tonight? And Evinger
Clevenger's another one that says that she wants to continue her, working on her stand-up game so she can be a more exciting fighter. We'll see if that's the end of her. Evanger already landing a right hand to the takedown into side control on Carano, and this is one place where Gina Carano admittedly does not want to be. No, she doesn't, and it's interesting to me all the hyperbole before this fight from Tanya was that he, she was going to stand and trade, took her right down. I think she had the quote of the press conference when Evanger said, I'd rather make out with Gina Carano, but instead I'm going to have to knock her out. And I'm not going to touch that one with a 25-foot pole, Morrow. Oh, Look for the mouth there and continues to control Carano. Again, this is Tanya Evanger's bread and butter, a world-class female wrestler. Let's not forget, she used to beat the guys. Yeah, but wrestling is one thing. Does she, does she possess the submission skills? No, she doesn't because all of her wins have been by TKO. So if she gets mount, it's going to be a big problem for Gina. Gina controlling now, trying to get out there as Evanger's going for a guillotine choke from the half guard. I don't think that's the way you want to secure it, though, is it, Stephen? Uh, no, but it's, it's going to be a problem because if Gina doesn't know how to properly defend, Gina's turning to the side, so she's relieving the pressure. We're going to see if her work at Extreme Couture paid off. Guys, I really have to wonder just how much, again, it, it takes a lot for Gina Carano to get down to 140 pounds. We saw a different look of Gina Carano even before the entrance. It's good sweep by Carano here. She and we'll see how much energy she's expended popping her head out. And now she finds herself in half guard of Evanger. More than a sweep, Tanya Evanger tried to pull guard into a guillotine choke, didn't have the right position, and Gina popped out. And now Carano landing some lefts and an elbow. Now it's in there. against the fence. Yeah, in the close final in there. Those elbows are definitely going to take their toll. Evanger with a headlock now. Carano's got her back, and what can Gina Carano do here? Well, she should put the leg hooks in, go for the ring, naked choke, and that's what she's doing. Wouldn't that be amazing? Gina Carano looking to get a rear naked choke on Tanya Evanger. We've seen dirty boxing, but now we're seeing dirty jujitsu. Well done, Steven. Watch the back of the head. Gina needs to start unloading with shots because she doesn't have the right position. She doesn't have the left leg hook in. Tanya, now she does. Gina should go for that choke. Is Evanger going to survive? Oh, it's over! Gina Carano submits Tanya Evanger! Wow, I am impressed! Gina got taken down and finished the fight on the ground. The fight lasted about as long as Lindsay Lohan's last stint in rehab, but a sigh of relief for Gina Carano. Were you surprised that Carano was able to submit Tanya Evanger? Well, I said it before, Moro, it was dirty jujitsu, and Tanya pulled one of the, one of the dirtiest uh, guillotine chokes, didn't have the position. Gina got on top, finally got the back control she needed, got more, got more of a judo choke around her throat. Tanya had to tap out, and it was seconds left in the round. A mother and daughter, father and daughter reunion in the cage here is Glenn Carano hugging his victorious daughter, Gina. Celebration again in the Carano camp. So, Gina Carano picking up her first submission victory, a lady of first here in female mixed martial arts. That's a big win for her, getting that, getting that submission. Okay, and here's the key to victory, because Gina does a real good flip over here. Tanya was trying for something. She was trying for a guillotine, and she pulled into it, but Gina had her chin up and popped out of this thing. There was really never a threat there. Tanya really didn't have a lot of confidence in that move. And let's look at that again. Second look. Gina, look how patient she is here. Even though she had that weight cut, she really was focused on this, wasn't in trouble here. Tanya didn't have a, a proper position here, especially with the guard. She only had half guard. And here we have the submission here. Gina finally gets that left leg hook in and gets that, uh, that arm around the throat. There goes the left leg, and there goes the left arm around the throat. Tanya's got no choice here, doesn't know how to defend, has to tap out. 
sporting the Princess Leah hairdo. The submission force was with Gina Carano. We will indeed make it official with Jimmy Lennon Jr. As Glenn Carano erupts in celebration. I know for a fact that Glenn is always very nervous when his daughter fights, and of course, as any parent would be, but uh, Gina Carano. A smiling young lady now, and the reason for it is, well, let's talk to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to tell you why. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 53 seconds in round number one. A rear naked choke ends this contest as the fighter taps out. She is the winner by way of submission and still undefeated, Gina Corona. How much more is it going to hurt for Evinger knowing that she lost in the final seconds of the round? Let's go to Bill Goldberg standing by with Gina Carano. I'm getting beaten up by Gina up here, but you know what? Congratulations, Gina. A lot's been said about you being the face of women's MMA. A lot of pressure on you. Uh, we know you like to knock people out, but how cool is it for Gina Carano to get her first submission? Oh, my gosh. That was my first submission ever. That was amazing. Thank you guys so much for being here for that. You know, uh, we've seen you knock people out, but now I'm going to have you look at the Jumbotron and talk us through your submission. I don't even know what's going through my head. I was just like, I just want to choke her. I just want to choke her so she doesn't breathe anymore. <laughs> Why won't you die? <laughs> now there is the warrior spirit. And now here's Doug DeLuca, CEO of Pro Elite, was a present with a presentation to the winner, Gina Carano. And let's hear it for the women's face of MMA, Gina Carano! Carano went fishing for a submission and landed a 140-pound rear naked choke here at Elite XC Uprising. Make it all worth it for me, and I want to thank God and my family for always being there for me and making the, pers the person out of me that I am today, and I, especially my corner people and all the people. That just support me. And how about that guy right there? And that crazy lunatic. How does he get in the cage every time? <laughs> I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. I love you, Mom. There we go. Gina Carano. Talk about uh, perseverance, talk about resiliency. After seeing her at the weigh-in, uh, I didn't know if we would uh, see this picture, but uh, wow, what a, what a role model, what a hero. Gina Carano pulling it out here tonight. I was really impressed with Gina's composure, especially when she had her back to the floor. It was as if she'd been there a thousand times, but we know that she's only been there about 10 times. For a look at these events, as well as all the exciting programming available on Showtime, we invite you to visit our website at sho.com. Now for Bill Goldberg and Steven Quadros, this is Mauro Ranallo saying mahalo. Thanks for joining us and aloha from Hawaii.